Hello everyone and welcome back to the Flutter tutorial. Before we start with Flutter, we must talk about Dart and we will have a quick overview about it just to get familiar with it before we start with the Flutter. So we will be using Dart pad for now. On the right left side, we will write our Dart code. On the right side, under the console, we will see the result when we click on the run. So let's get started. I will erase everything now. So Dart is like any other object oriented language. It has aesthetic data types like integer, strings, bool, also double and others. So if I want to reserve or define a variable of type integer, I can say int num equal five. If I want a string variable, I can just say string, for example, name equal to mark. To print this value, I can use print num, then print name. And every Dart statement must end with a semicolon. So you can see on the console, under the console, five with mark. Okay, we mean by static data type that we can convert one value to type to another. For example, I can say num equal to red. For example, I can't say that it will throw an error. This error is, we can read it down here. A value of type string can be assigned to a variable of type int. So instead of saying num equal to red, I can say name. This is a string and this is a string. This is will work. No problem with that. Okay. We have also different data types like bool. Let's say is running equal to false print is running and we can print it all right we also have double for numbers double number equal to 0.5 this will also work if I print it number Dart also support dynamic variable types. For example, if we want to have a variable that changes during the, our program, we can do so in Dart. For example, we can say dynamic val equal to red. Then if I say val is equal to three, it wouldn't complain like previously when we said string name equal to mark. Then we said name is equal to three. It will complain why? Because this is a string and this is an integer. But if it's dynamic, if we change even this to dynamic, it wouldn't complain and everything will still work fine. Okay, so even if I come down here and say val is equal to false, then val is equal to 2.9, for example. If I print val, val will be 2.9. It wouldn't be false or three or red because we're changing the value and it's a dynamic variable so it's taking any value no problem with that if I run it now we will see 2.9 all right guys let's have a look at functions in dart let me erase everything first here to make a function in dart we simply provide the return type then the function name then curly braces and here let's say this is the body of the function so here we can write whatever we want to do in this function let's say we want to print hello bill to call the function we just type its name and that's it when I run it it shall say hello there all right so functions also have return type which means I can get a value from a function let's say I want to get a string out of a function so let's say string get name then here we can say return name for example and up there I can say string name is equal to get name 
all right now i can print the name so if i run it it shall say hello there okay hello there then it shall say name let's send it to mark all right functions also like as we said before we have different data types integer uh, bool double functions also return all these for example i can say int get age for example and return 15 for example and here up there i can say int age is equal to get age then print age and if i run it we shall see this also 15 all right we can also pass parameters to a function let's say we want first to get the name and after we get the name i want to greet this user the name we get so to send param to a function we say string name for example then here i shall pass the name let me pass this name so it shall say mark then hello there here we can say hello there and the name we want to greet him by his name so we will put this character and the name of the variable which is name so now it shall say mark then hello there mark then 15 if i run it let's see it together all right so that's how we pass parameters to a function okay we can pass parameters to a function in different ways for example I can make name parameter when we say name parameter we don't immediately pass the uh, parameter like that we can say if the parameter is called name I can say name then I send the name we want so how to make name parameter to make a name parameter in Dart I just come here and surround it with curly braces so now this is a name parameter I don't immediately send the variable if i say immediately name it will throw an error definitely because this is a name parameter and it takes the name based on the name of this variable if i change it to uh, names for example with an s so here i can't say name is equal to name no i must say names it take it immediately like that all right but here we're having an error let me reverse it to name and this to name here we're having an error if i put the mouse here i can say the parameter or we can read it from here the parameter name can't have a value of null because of its type but the implicit default value is null all right to understand this error we must talk about null safety since if letter two and above we inter flutter team introduced to us null safety if we look down there we can say we can see sorry null safety is already enabled for us what do we mean by null safety null safety means we can't assign an unnullable variable for example this string name is an unnullable variable but it's also having a value of null why is it having a value of null because once we make it a name parameter we can we can we have the ability to not pass it if i don't pass it it should not complain and it should work immediately just fine no problem with that let me explain more what is null safety for example this string abc is equal to abc so this variable is not nullable if i say print abc it shall print abc with no problem print with one i okay so i have to make nullable parameter or variable to make nullable parameter after i write the type of the variable i can put question mark then the name of the variable for example color is equal to red so this is a nullable variable when we say nullable variable which means if i remove this equals then i try to run it 
or print it, it shall not say anything. But if I do this to a null-nullable variable, it shall throw an error. This error will be we can't access a null-nullable variable before we initialize it. This is the same error. As we can see, we can we have the ability to not pass the variable, so this can be null. If this can be null, we can't access it down here. And if we can't access it down here, it will complain. So, what we can do is we can give it a value. Also here, to get rid of this error, I can give it a default value. To give it a default value, I can do as so. And this error is now gone. Or, we can make it a nullable variable. To make it a nullable variable, we give it a question mark after the type, after the string. This also solved the problem. But if we want it, if we want this function to take a name parameter and it's required, the name must be sent, I can come here and say required string name. Now we will have an error up there. The error is saying this name parameter name is required. So I must pass it name is equal to name. Now if I run it, everything will be all right. Here we can see print color is null. So before we access the color, we must check if it's not null. Let's say color. If color is different from null, then we print it. Okay, so this if, it will never go inside it. Why? Because color, we, all, we already know that color is null. To use a nullable variable correctly, we must not say string color is equal to and give the color immediately. It's not nullable. It's non-nullable variable. I can remove the question mark and it will work fine. So what we actually need to do is sometimes we don't immediately initialize the variable like that. We initialize the variable by a function. Let's say we have a function called get color and this function returns either null or a value of type string let's say i will create a function and either function when we say return type string i can make it nullable it's either will return null or it will return a string value i will say string get color it will not take anything i can say return for example red so if we see this if color is different than null then it will print color so we will print color okay we are seeing printing red okay sometimes we don't actually return it immediately if we want to return it immediately we can remove this question mark as it's not nullable so if it's nullable we will have some logic here Then let's say string, let me just give you some space. Okay, so we can say string color here is equal to red. And then return the color. So sometimes this, this color here is nullable. So sometimes let's say I'm getting it from an API so this uh, variable might be null or it might be actually a string, a value of type string. So we returning the color. Sometimes we return the color right there, red. Sometimes we return it as null. So if I run it, it shouldn't go inside the if, shouldn't say see the color here. All right, guys, it's not a good to practice to say equals to null. So I will just say semicolon here and here a comment. We are getting the data from an external API. So we don't know if it's null or not. So this will be null actually. If I run it, we will see the same result. And that's it. Okay guys, before we finish the video, I want to talk about one last thing. 
which is our functions so as we can see this function this one and this one as well they all have one statement inside their functions so instead of writing all that we can simply convert it to our function to convert it to our function we get rid of the curly braces and the return keyword so if we do that we will have the same result actually and we can convert this as well instead of return we can say equal arrow then 15 and if we run it we will have the same result down here also this this is not a statement actually this is a comment so if we can remove it and convert it to an arrow function this will work as well okay guys that would be all today thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video